whatsoever is born of God over Reverend Eluchuku coming to you with the supernatural ministry of the Word of God in accuracy, precision, and the demonstration of the Spirit. It is by the Spirit within. If the Spirit is in you, you are His eternally. Hey! But if the Spirit of Him that raised up me at Oskash, He that raised up Christ from the dead, shall also weaken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. Well, Hallelujah! The Bible says, Greater is He that is in you than He that is in this world. Greater is He that is in you. Then I walk to the lens and the breadth of this word, saying I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If greater is he that is in me, the Reverend Elijahu Debunam, for the love of Christ and the work of the ministry. Yet it is so freaky as a brat that the viboge the baba bracos of a briende a seize or cause if he procos a couch cobraning a scat. Yes, causes of rakit and tebora and the nas sangra than a tofre keesco. Yes, a capa coto crocosi is a scofract and a angra de keeso shapaya. Et a langra febros is a fangri si so mat da vipi es so prokosha da angra dis. A vipo songa sangra saki so so krofe ka prodonzi ashkit. Et te non so so fapra de gies a si es kopraktena a si es kofat. Yara pete tungra da si en so kropara braga di non sovra ka di es koja paria. Amani en tofre da Gaza sapi en tofebre gedeando to sikariat. Oh, fa pa kate te kreke so shapranga da di en fredoza sapri en ta kait. Oh, si esko frakte ne mangre de nonza shibra gadanda frakte ne monsungre da fi ekskolat. Rapi kota rapambra nangra di non zoja fe griande so fakt. Fa katete prokoso shatakradiz. Exuso branda damvra dingo sovra takilo. Te la grande escobra. Rati ko sambra dana. Gradagi ezo je brakte de grea suze fraktenies. O sapa kate le bragadies. In the name of Jesus. Blessed Father, we thank and we honor you. Thank you for the privilege that we have to receive your word, to be taught by your spirit. Our heart and our minds are receptive to your spirit. Light comes to us. Understanding comes to us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. I actually didn't plan to teach today. I already told our pastors that I was not going to teach for all the sun, all the Wednesdays this month. But then I, it was during the course of the devotional that I realized that this is the last Wednesday for the month. So I'm actually taking the position of somebody here. Amen. You know what it means for somebody to to prepare to share the word? Unfortunately, I do not even know who was supposed to share the word today. No, no. <laughs> but it's well. Amen. I just hope that you are happy to have me. <laughs> Welcome back from PLC 2023. Hallelujah. Hope you were blessed by that meeting. Instructed. And now it's time for us to put to work, right? All that we gathered. And the secret is to act quickly. I told you that, right? We ain't waiting for nobody. Amen. Now, I plan to instruct us, give us um, 
a brief instruction on the life of faith and the life of faith and then you know many years ago many people thought that the only subject I could preach <laughs> from the word of God was faith and then I wonder what would happen if they return today to listen to me Amen. Now, there are two basic things that you need to understand about faith. Uh, there is the faith of salvation. That is what we call the saving faith. Open your Bibles to Ephesians and chapter 2. The saving faith. Ephesians in chapter 2. Look at verse number 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Praise the Lord. For by grace are you saved through. Is somebody here? Now listen. Now if it says for by grace are ye saved through faith. When you read your Bible are you going to be able to say that everywhere that faith was mentioned there was salvation from sin? Can we say that? Definitely not. Right? We saw in the Bible where people expressed faith and instead of salvation from sin what they got was healing deliverance right right okay so that means that we need to study carefully to know what you know when faith is mentioned what kind of faith right right okay so now in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 the faith there is about what? It's about what? For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Now let me do something two or three minutes about that. Now this is very important. Now the, the, the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus will be ineffective in your life without faith so we cannot even say that Jesus saved us and it will be absolutely true we were going to say that we believed in what Jesus did to be saved so what Jesus did brought about salvation but for us to have salvation we must believe and that does show us the importance of faith right right okay so God did something and yet that thing does not have effect on me unless there is faith Hebrews in chapter chapter number um, 4 Hebrews chapter 4 now look at this Actually, our focus is not going to be the faith of salvation, right? But I just wanted to show you the basic difference between the two. Now look at Hebrews in chapter 4. Go to verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that had it. Now read everybody Hebrews 4, 2. Want to go? was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that now why did it not profit them ah be loud why did it not profit them because it was not mixed with faith and this is very crucial very ex essential now 
the word was preached unto them but it did not profit them nothing because it was not mixed with them. Now, what does it mean when he says the word was not mixed with faith? They did not believe. Did they not do what? Did they not do what? Believe. Now, this is very important that you get it. Did they not believe? Praise the Lord. Okay, now, how do we believe the word? How do we believe the word? Okay. Now, believing the word is not agreeing with the word. It's not agreeing with the word. It's not mentally assenting to the word. It's not mentally assenting to it. Now, what makes it possible for man to believe the word? Now, within the context of salvation now, huh? is that faith is always present in the hearing of the word faith is always present in the hearing of the word whenever a man is hearing the message of Christ faith is wrapped in that message there is faith in the message of Christ so when the message of Christ is coming to, to a man there is faith there so you do not look for faith in the presence of the word of God that is why the word of God is called the word of faith is somebody here okay now listen to me listen this word of God which is the gospel of Christ it does not demand the faith it supplies faith the, the gospel does not demand the faith it supplies faith so when you are listening to the gospel faith is being transported as the word comes to you praise God so then in Romans and chapter 10 verse number 17 it says so then faith cometh by hearing and the hearing by the message of Christ I tried to show you that during the conference right by the message of Christ now two more minutes on this um, faith of salvation because it's important that we understand it praise God because I think I told us something years ago I said we need to understand the ultimate reason for faith and that is the underlying understanding of the concept of faith you cannot teach faith without the resurrection of Jesus it doesn't matter the kind of faith you want to talk about did anybody get what I just said now when we study the Bible carefully we can confidently deduce that the ultimate reason the reason why oh thank you Lord Jesus I didn't plan to teach you but the teach is coming on me <laughs> praise God see the reason why let me even come to believing God for material things the ordinary things of life now listen do you know the reason why maybe okay somebody says I am sick and I am believing God for healing have you ever, ever heard anything like that do you know the reason the very reason why the word believing huh or the possibility of believing was even given to man. It was so he would finally believe in the resurrection. It is not the healing. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, before Jesus dried, died, everything faith did was like a rehearsal. <laughs> did anybody get what I just said? Everything that faith did was like some rehearsal. You know, you are reacting for the main thing. Did you get what I just said? Did anybody get what I just said? Okay. That's why when you now begin to study um, the children of Israel, remember his voice in our work, right? We begin to study their lives in, the, in their journey from Egypt to the promised land. Do you know why it was called the land? 
because they were an agrarian community. Are you getting what I'm saying? So Moses would use the things they were familiar with in order to teach them the plan of God. If when you say the promised land, the most important thing there is the promise, not the land. <laughs> Did you get what I said? Because upon getting to the land, the promise was still in view. Did you get what I just said? Upon getting to the land, the promise was still in view. Somebody might say, ah, how? Let me show you that. In the book of Hebrews. In the book of Hebrews. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, that's in Hebrews chapter 4, where you are. Everybody, let's read verse number 8. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's read verse number 8. One, two, go. For if Jesus, now that Jesus there is the Greek word for the Hebrew, Joshua. Did you get what I said? The Jesus in the Hebrew. So if you read with the NIV, you are going to see it clearly. That the Jesus in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 8 is actually Joshua. Right? Who has an NIV translation here? You have? Did you see it there? Okay, so that's Joshua, right? Praise the Lord. Are we here? Okay, so let's read and uh, say Jesus, Joshua instead of Jesus. Everybody want to go. For if Joshua had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? I thought that Joshua brought them. The rest would mean where now? Now, physically speaking, the land of Canaan, right? But here is making a case that Joshua didn't give them rest. If Joshua didn't give them rest, then the rest promise wasn't Canaan. Right? So upon getting to Canaan, he spoke of another day. What would the speaking mean? Promise. I told you that the promise must be spoken. Right? Are we here? So, Canaan was not the promise. Rather, it was a typology. It was figurative. Praise the Lord. Okay. Now, let's even use Canaan to now tell you something about faith. If, listen church If I could believe God To deliver me From Egypt To the promised land It would be easy to believe Deliverance from darkness To the kingdom of light Did you see the reason for Egypt to Canaan It was to teach deliverance From the kingdom of darkness Into the kingdom of his dear son are you now seeing the essence of faith the ultimate goal of faith hallelujah hallelujah wow wow amen 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 yeah wow I do see if you don't know this your study of the bible huh, is going to be a journey in confusion. It's going to be a journey in confusion. In, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, you know what? As they were eating manna, as they were eating manna, you know what? They would believe for the next day. Did you notice that they were asked not to take for two days? except for the day before the Sabbath. What was that to, to do in them? To teach them about daily dependence. Right? On God. So you go today, you take all you could eat today and not be mindful of tomorrow. So, of course, you know, some of them disobey still. Imagine, God supplied you something and promised to supply you the next day. You didn't trust the one of the day. The one of today didn't even convince you that the one of tomorrow <laughs> would be sure. What a people. What a people. Let me also tell you. Some of them will gather so much huh, that they will now eat and preserve. Maybe they were experimenting. There were scientists among them. You know what? The next day, that one will melt. And it was not because manna didn't have preservatives. <laughs> because eventually, Moses would take a sample 
and they kept for years for people to really know what they ate. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, what was everyday provision of manna preparing them for? Give us today our daily bread. Are you getting this thing? Now, you, these things need to be very clear to you. So, every instance of faith, the examples of it reads in the Old Testament pointed to some deeper reality. Praise God. Wow. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? Are we here? Okay, let me take another example. Look at Abraham. Look at Abraham. If you now begin to study Romans and chapter 4. When Abraham's body was dead. Huh? The son of the promise was born. Which is Isaac. He had to depend on the power of God to have Isaac. Remember, Abraham was not barren. He had Ishmael. You know that, right? He had Ishmael. He was not barren. But when his body, now you read Romans chapter 4, it says that his body was dead. Abraham did not consider the deadness of his body, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. You know what was happening? Huh? There, the example, the deeper reality that that instance you know was pointing to is that life is going to come from death that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ I could give you many instances many examples many examples hallelujah wow so we can now see the reason why people believe for anything in the first place is it clear? Is it clear? Hallelujah. The reason why they believed. At all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give me a few more minutes. Now, Hebrews in chapter 11. Hebrews in chapter 11. You know, some persons are still finding it difficult to understand why we say that Hebrews chapter 11, he's discussing the faith of the men of old. One of the questions I do ask them, who among the New Testament guys did you see their name mentioned there? Who would have been even a good example at, at that time when the book of Hebrew was being written? Yeah. Wasn't writing. Did you, did you get what I just said? Then again, when you now go to chapter 12, Verse, verse 2, when he says, Looking unto Jesus. I've told you, Afara, right? Who is the author and the finisher? Now, the King James was very dubious there. He says, The author and finisher of our faith. No. That was a translational impute. There is no our there. He's not the author and finisher of our faith. You didn't have faith before Christ rose from the dead. Did anybody get what I just said? Your faith met the fulfillment. How many of us? Now, how many of us here could say that our faith met the promise? Did our faith meet the promise? It didn't. So, he, he is the author and finisher of faith. Which faith? The faith demonstrated in chapter 11. Is somebody here? The faith of those guys. He says, by faith, Abel, Noah, this one, all of them by faith. So, the Bible then says to you that Christ, of course, in Romans chapter 15, we have it there that he came to confirm the promise made unto the fathers. So you remember that? Oh, do you remember that? Ah, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, we could see that there was a reason for faith in the first place. Now, let's look at Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All through the New Testament. There was no miracles eh, that was not seen. Except the infilling of the Spirit, the indwelling of the Spirit, eh, and then speaking in other tongues. But 
aside speaking in other tongues you can go to the old testament every gift of the spirit manifested there every gift of the spirit every, you, they had word of knowledge word of wisdom all of them except word of gossip amen i told someone i said what you have is the word of gossip and that one is not by god's spirit amen okay now listen to me church when is a substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen if everything we have in the new testament except these two except this indwelling of the spirit speaking in other tongues which i told you in the devotional is peculiar to the new testament you remember so if they had everything what are you now going to fill in in the things hoped for things not seen it must be that which will give us these two things that is the indwelling and the speaking in tongues and that will be the resurrection of jesus did you get what i just explained so faith is the substance of things who things hoped for what was the thing hoped for the resurrection of jesus the evidence of things not seen what was the things not seen the resurrection of jesus now let me now say this now we move to another thing uh, another, the other aspect of faith i plan to share with you now listen church if you are listening say amen if you are here say i'm here glory to god now listen if all the demonstrations of faith in doing them they were looking forward to the resurrection of Jesus what are we going to say then we can now say that in the resurrection of Jesus listen to me be looking at me right now be looking at me I am better than your daughter, so be looking at me. As if, if I refuse to say nothing, you're, you're not going to have anything to jot. Unless you have potable quotes. So, in the resurrection of Jesus, I'm looking for a better word. Eh? In the resurrection of Jesus, structurally and functionally, faith attained its destiny. Can you say it? In the resurrection of Jesus, structurally and functionally, faith attained its destiny because that was the ultimate goal of faith right are we here so the man who believed ahead of time when jesus rose from the dead that man could say i've arrived hallelujah hallelujah okay now let's now come to faith for material things oh hallelujah faith for material things God is a God that can also give material things I, I saw an exegesis hey Jesus Christ oh 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 can you say oh say it well oh ah. you know the exegesis the exegesis said that God does not give material things you know what he says? He uses the, 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 the temptation of Jesus to demonstrate, to prove that point. You know what he said? That in the, in the temptation of Jesus, Satan was showing him the material things of this world. And as Satan was showing him the material things of this world, this is one of the biggest, if you see where this exegesis is, is coming from. He was showing the, the material things of this world. And then when he was done, Jesus said, No. Then he says, In that temptation, we know who offers material things. Hey. Okay. Who created those material things? Who created them? Secondary. Do you actually think? That Satan could give Jesus the material. If Satan could give Jesus those material things, Satan must violently take them from men. There is nothing any spirit owns in this space. Did you get what I just said? So when spirit gives, you have to understand this because listen, that 
Satan wanted to give Jesus the earthly ah, he must rescue them from people, human beings. Okay, now let's look at faith. Let's look at faith. This material universe was created by God. It's not a creation of chance. Did you get what I just said? Anybody that claims that the earth came out of nothing is nothing. Because for nothing to make you means you are what? Nothing. God is the intelligent being behind the creation of this earth. Creation was not a teamwork. No, there was no, see, nobody co-created with God. So the power of God is responsible for creation. Okay. What is the purpose of whatever that was created? Everything created was created to serve the Son of God. Understand that? Everything created was created to serve the Son of God. So, let's Look at Colossians. I want you to see your right. Your right in Christ by faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say my right in Christ by faith. Hallelujah. Do you know we have rights that some persons do not know? It doesn't matter how much authority that you have. If you do not learn the use of authority, it will not work. And that is why we are showing you these things. My rights in Christ by faith. I just want to show you that. Okay, now Colossians. Colossians. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Look at Colossians and chapter 1. I read you verse number. Hey, which number now am I going to read? Let's begin from 15 because of time who is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature speaking of Christ right for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for and for so all things were created by the son of God and for him right okay quickly Romans and chapter 8 Romans and chapter 8 hallelujah Romans and chapter 8 look at verse 16 the spirit himself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then heirs. Heirs of God. And joint heirs with Christ. Hallelujah. He says we are joint heirs with Christ. You know what it means to say that you are a joint heir? Huh? You know what joint heirship means? There's another word. That is very close. That is cohere. Cohere means that the percentage, there's a percentage, okay? It could be 30, 70, 60, 50, 40, 60, 80, 20. But in joint headship, when it is, when you say you are a joint heir with this person, it means you can't have without me. I cannot have without you. Did you get it? That is what. That is the concept of joint heads. Okay? Now, he says we are joint heads with him. Yes, somebody might say, oh, this is talking about spiritual things, spiritual things. Okay, listen to me now. When he says all things we are created, he says visible and the what? Invisible. That means there are invisible things. Right? There are invisible things created. When I'm going to take you through that. So, even in the invisible realm, nothing existed by chance. In the invisible realm, things were created. 
right okay nothing exists on its own so it's a visible and invisible so there are visible things also and the faith for your daily living huh, has to do with visible things Pastor Elochiku Udebunam will be right back for the love of Christ and the work of the ministry. Did you know that the Lord's Berean Church International is now closer than ever? Yes, right on your mobile phone. You can now follow our regular updates through our social media handles. Get frequent posts news teachings and updates on facebook simply click the like button on our facebook page at the lord's brethren church international and you're good to go to get videos of our dear man of god and other video publications of our ministry visit youtube now and subscribe to our channel at the lord's brethren church international do not forget to turn on the notification catch up with our weekly audio publication on telegram following the details showing currently on your screen. For our live audio streaming and services, follow us on Mix LR at the Lord's Reading Church International. For more information and partnership, contact us with the detail currently showing on your screen. My name is Faith. This is the Lord's Reading Church International. God has blessed you. Visible things. Visible things. Praise God. Hallelujah. And now let me show you something. Are we here? Are you here? Are you sure that you are here? Are you sure you are here? Amen. Mark and chapter 11. Oh, Jesus. Let me tell you. Now be looking at me right now. Be looking at me right now. Amen. You see. In this world that we are in. After that sin. Entered. Huh? Trouble becomes a part of life. Only faith. Eh, can manage it. trouble <laughs> see there is no life without troubles you can only find someone who is managing it better than you are you getting what I'm saying did anybody get what I just said you can only get someone who is managing it better than you who is handling troubles better than you you need to understand it <laughs> As you are planning to do whatever. You must understand that by default. Things in the natural must go in the negative. Things in the natural must go in a negative direction. If you don't understand this. You will be asking yourself. I don't understand why these things are happening to me. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey. Come on. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you don't understand this thing, you'll be living by the principle of who sera sera. Whatever will be, will be. Sometimes I look at some Christians and they are waiting for situations to change. No, it does not work that way. He does, not do, he does not work that way. He does not work that way. You must understand the faith life. You must understand the faith life. Now the faith of salvation uh, is automatic. You believe in Jesus for salvation once. But in this one we are talking about you keep using faith. You keep using faith. You, keep, you use faith today. You will use it tomorrow. You use it next tomorrow. There is no time you will say I have settled this permanently. It is not true. If you get sick today, you are healed. It doesn't stop you from getting sick tomorrow. 
So you must do something about remaining in health tomorrow. There was nobody. See, it, it doesn't, you can't even lay hands as I say, from today. You will never be sick again. You can only say you are healed. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? So the person goes. <laughs> Mark, Mark and chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. I wish I had the time to talk about this thing. Faith! Say faith. <laughs> Some of us are bearing faith, but we don't know what faith is. If your name is faith, yeah, wave at me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have three. Wave well. Wave well. Two, I even see. We have joint faith today. We have the faith of the Old Testament here. So, the fulfillment at the back. Amen. <laughs> okay. Mark 11. Let me read you from verse. Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen? Okay, from 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry and seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came. If happily he might find anything there on. Ah, yeah. Jesus was hungry. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Now look at the next verse, verse 20. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the root. That means the next day, they didn't, as they were sleeping, they had that on their mind. The Bible said they heard him. How many of you? How many of you are in that business of checking to know whether the words of your man of God are really working? Wave. Now it's not a bad thing. We have seen an example here. Of course, there is a negative side to it, right? I remember that woman. The woman said, "Put more power." I the thing has gone, but put more power. I said, "Ah," she said, "Put more power. It will come back again." I said, ah, "You are not serious." <laughs> Imagine you are healed of a headache, and you are doing like this to check. And you didn't see it. Now you balance well. What are you trying to find out? <laughs> no, what are you trying to find out? You are trying to find the sickness, not the healing, right? Well, try to find the healing. Try to do what? That's the testimony, right? Stay on it. Glory to God. Okay, so, and in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried off from the root. As they saw it, huh? Peter couldn't hold, keep, keep, keep that to himself. Then in verse 21, and Peter calling to remember and said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. And Jesus said unto them, Have faith in God. Of course, Greek scholars will tell us that that statement, have faith in God, right repute is have the faith of God. Have the faith of God. Say, have the faith of God. Now, of course, when you look at it structurally, you are going to find out that it's quite different from have faith in God. Have faith in God. That is believing God. Have the faith of God would mean you operate like God did. Right? Right? Operate at the same frequency as God. And uh, Jesus showed them, you know, how in the letter verse. He showed them how. He said, have the faith of God. Now, what does the faith of God do? What does it do? Let's look at it. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, hmm, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Hey, look up. Did you know that in the whole of verse 23, it doesn't mention God. It doesn't even mention your man of God. It mentions you. Some people, they do not have a personal walk of faith. They are personal walk of faith. I understand there is a place where someone who understands, who knows better than you can come in. But you need to have your 
personal walk of faith. He says here, what he said that whosoever, whosoever means any one of us could do can do this, right? Whosoever, whosoever does not exclude, right? Whosoever is all inclusive. Whosoever, whosoever shall say, whosoever so in faith, there must be a speaking. Whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, unto this mountain. Okay? Now, in faith, who do we talk to? When we want to change things in the natural. Is it to God or to things according to here? To the thing. God! God, no! Speak to the thing. You need to understand how the word of God works. So, when you are faced with a situation, you don't say, Oh God, oh God, come to my aid. No. He says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. No, whosoever shall call unto God. No, whosoever shall say, God, help me. Oh God, deliver me. No. He says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. So, if you are faced with a mountain, if you are faced with a situation, huh? Learn to speak to that situation. There, there are other principles in this same verse. Now it says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, of course, these were some of the earliest lessons we learned from the man E.W. Kenyon and um, um, Kenneth E. Hagin. Now listen, he says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Another thing there is specific. He was specific. You must be bold to be specific while using your faith you must be bold to be specific so he said this is what I am addressing so in the name of Jesus I address this tumor in the name of Jesus the thing is brethren let me tell you let me tell you faith is not a scam faith works the word of God has worked we are receiving from what has worked you need to understand it never you and that's what don't ever you know, sit comfortably with anyone who is telling you how you did this. No, 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 no. no. Stay close to people who have results by the word of God. You too will have results. Learn to stay close to people who have results by the word. It will encourage you in faith. I've observed that all those who join the group of, oh, I try to do this and sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. I told you, whenever I see a minister talking that way, I don't keep, I don't keep close. I tried to do this one and I said, no, 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 no. My faith works. Whenever, listen, as I was growing up, whenever I, I used my faith to do anything and I didn't see immediate results, huh? you know, I would challenge myself to know more. I will never begin to say nonsense against the word of God. I would say, oh, this thing, there, there must be something that I am yet to know so long as this matter is concerned. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I challenge myself to learn some more. Instead of saying, oh, you don't, see, you don't see me eh, talk about how my faith didn't work. It, it is never a part of my conversation. It is never a part of my, I don't discuss that. Okay, I, no, I don't discuss that. It's not a part, because see, what you discuss will be strengthened in your soul. Your soul is very important. If you keep talking about a thing, you are giving that in power in your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, this mountain. Let me even tell you, I learned to, when I want to use my faith, maybe for money, those days, I, I can't remember the last time I did that, but let me tell you what I did. I don't say, in the name of Jesus, I need money. I need money. Ah, if you are saying in the name of Jesus, you need money. Eventually, when you have 15 naira, you know money. Huh? Father, I need money. Ah. Even the power of God is confused because there is 15 naira with you. Right? So you've got to be specific. If it is 20,000, in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God, the Bible says that if I shall speak, 
So I'm speaking to this need. This need requires that I have 20,000. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that I have 20,000. Okay? Now, when I've said that, look at this. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. That's another thing. So now, he said, I am not a doubter. So I'm not a doubter. Now, this is, it will take a training huh, for doubt to be handled in a life. It will take trainings, doubt. Some of us here are professional doubters. If we are professional doubters, wave at me. Hey, okay, you used to be a professional doubter. You used to be. You are no longer. Wave. Professional doubters. <laughs> Amen. I love how nobody said that he's still doubting. I love that. Make sure you also say that to yourself. You know, you could lie in the public. <laughs> how many of you have noticed that it's easy not to be afraid when you are with people? When you are in a room, dark room, some persons are comfortable, not because they have a stand on their own. No. I remember, let me tell you, years ago, travel to the village. And, you know, I would always be in the same room with my mom, just the two of us. And I used to hear that they, they would often go, because towards the time that we are going to return to the city, they want to get a whole lot. There's this thing they used to do in the bush. I can't, rem I can't really remember what they used to get during the night. Brethren, that night, I touched this side. I didn't feel about anybody. In our village, we believe that the, the concentration of devils in the village <laughs> is so high. I turned to this direction. Didn't see that woman. I came out. You know what I started shouting? Many persons, they've not forgiven me up to now. Mama, I met you. <laughs> Her first one's name is Amechi. Mama, I met you. I was shouting. Mama, I met you. Mama, I met you. I was screaming. I was screaming. And as I was shouting, I could only hear my voice. I thought demons were echoing. Hey, and she heard it from there. And now, man, started running back. Started running back until I heard her voice. And we returned in Anglican children. How many of you were bold against fear? <laughs> when you travel to the village. <laughs> but my boldness was a woman, right? How many of you have been that way? You are only bold because someone was around. Wave at me. Yeah. <laughs> How many of you have been in a car with someone? The only reason why you were confident that nothing would happen was because of someone else who was there. Where would be? <laughs> but learn to stand. You know, somebody said he was in a plane with Bishop Oyedepo. Eh? And the pilot made an announcement. The man just hugged him and said, nothing else. Just hugged him. So, later on, the man said, I don't care. I know that your God will never allow you to die. So, the reason why I hugged you, wherever you land, that's how <laughs> <laughs> and the man does not believe in Jesus, does not care, but somehow, are you getting what I say? No, these people, there's an element of the supernatural. So, ah, just hug this man, held him. Be sure that what is that? The man held his society. You don't, you don't own yourself now. <laughs> Praise God. So now listen. He says, You must say, I'm not doubting your heart. Now, how are you going to handle? doubt in your heart by the word of God. By the word. You keep speaking the word. You keep speaking the word. Concerning that thing, you keep speaking the word. You keep talking the word. Hallelujah. Yeah. You keep talking the word. Now, I am challenging you right now. Right? Begin to make a practice of this. You are going to have marvelous results. I'm telling you. Begin to make a practice of this. Yes. Let me also tell you. You know, instead of going about to complain, huh? channel the energy of God by faith to situations. Eh? Channel the energy of God. And you keep saying it. You keep talking. You keep talking. Now, sometimes it's like 
um, um, someone who planted and every now and then is watering that thing. Every now and then. Even if it is a growth on your body. Let me tell you. There was a particular day. I was to go for a night meeting. One um, um, is it um, a ministry arm in our family church. The young Anglican Crusaders. So there was this event that um, I was invited to. I was to go with Pastor Ike. This was many years ago. Like in 2012. 2012 or so. 2012 or 2013. I can't remember. So when we were preparing I came out from my room to the sitting room and my brother called me and he said what's that thing on your neck I noticed it was a growth I didn't even see it imagine on my own body I didn't see it so immediately he showed me that I went to the mirror brethren I saw that hope you know when you see something like this you know where it could lead to what it could lead to how many of you have seen people that that are like that I saw that you know what I did I looked at it I said you will die naturally the life of God in me upon contact you die that was what I said and I stopped monitoring it every now and then when I remember it I said you have died you cannot stay on my neck you cannot stay on my neck. That is what you do. That's how to drive away doubt. By default, the, the soul of man tilts towards doubt. You doubt. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you must hand, don't think that automatically doubt will leave you. No. Use the word of God. So every now and then I say, no, you cannot stay on my neck. You cannot be there. In the name of Jesus, I have authority over you. You cannot be there. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is very important. Very important. Hallelujah. See, there are confessions I've made for years. Like I say, there is nothing any mortal man can do to me. No, there is nothing. And every now and then, when when certain things hit your understanding. He said, what shall man do unto me? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah. I dwell in safety. And my path is a path of safety. There is no injury. There is no harm. As I walk the path of life. Hallelujah. You keep saying it. You keep saying it. You keep saying it. Now let me even tell you. You might begin to ask. Why why this say is it? this confession thing is life? Oh. Let me tell you. Whether or not you know it, there is nothing that happens here on earth that is not permitted by man. Sometimes, out of ignorance, you permitted a thing. Yeah. The times you were saying, laugh, one kill me, die. You will soon die. <laughs> you will soon die. Laugh, one kill me, die. <laughs> Hey Julie, don't kill me. You are killing my boom. My boom. No. Stop saying it. Hallelujah. A woman said, Oh wait for your boom no wa. Oh, it's your wa. If there's anything that will kill me, is headache. Because of how long, brethren, it doesn't matter how long. Let your confession be long too. You keep saying it. It doesn't matter. You keep saying, no, it can never stay. Have you got what I'm saying? It can never stay. You say, Jesus had the word of God on his lips. Eh? Until, until he died. Even upon resurrection, he still kept the word on his lips. The son of God. The son of God. Every now and then, Jesus had the word on his lips. Think about it. And you, you don't want to have the word of God on your lips. The son of God was confessing it. Do you think Jesus rose from the dead by chance? He confessed it. He believed for it. He believed for it. He spoke. He was saying what the Father has said concerning him. He said, one thing, one commandment have I received of the Father. To lay down my life and to take it again. That's in John chapter 10 verse 18. He said, to take it again. 
kept on saying it. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not covetousness to wake up and say, I can never be poor. Re listen, I can never be poor. Poverty does not look good on me. And in the name of Jesus, thoughts of poverty can never stay around me. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then you begin to say, I have winning ideas. I have winning ideas. I have the ideas of a champion. I'm a success for life. Learn to say these things. These things are, there are things you must say for you. There are things you must say. Now, let me even show you another principle in that verse. Then he says, look at it. He then says, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. Those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Great scholars also tell us that that say it means something you continue saying. In faith, there must be a continuous saying of the thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You keep saying it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you are taken to the hospital. Have the word on your lips. Let me tell you, going to the hospital is not sin. You know that? It's not a sin. But while there, let me tell you, while there, huh? you are still saying, I have the health of God in me. I have the life of God in me. Are you getting what I'm saying? I have his health in me. Why will you trust medical sciences more than God? Now, why would you? Let me even tell you how I think about God in respect to health. There is, there is no science that can uncover the real substance of my being than God. There is no science. So if anything goes wrong, even if I seek medical advice, huh, my eyes are on God. Are <laughs> you getting what I'm saying? My eyes are on God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you another thing. One of the reasons for consistent confession, Satan does not give up easily. He does not. The word of God shows us that. In fact, if you want to know someone who is diligent, Satan is a diligent man. Could you imagine that Satan held a woman for 18 years? Have you ever read that? For 18 years in the Bible. The woman was bent like this. Hey, listen to me. She was bent like this. And everyone who saw her thought maybe it was a natural defect. They thought it was as a result of natural whatever. She was like this. Jesus came and said that this woman was bound by Satan for 18 years. Ha. If you know how Satan wants for things to go wrong for you, eh? you join me in the confession business. As you, are, you wake up in the morning and say, you see today, I walk in the blessings of the Lord. And the path that I go and you are very violent about it. No doubt. Are you getting what I'm saying? As you are going on the road, don't just be casual about it. You say, you see, there is no accident for me. There is no harm. There is no injury. Don't think it. Listen to me. If it happens without you speaking, there must be some speakings that are preserving you. I must tell you. I'm telling you. Words. Words release energy on the earth. The life we live here, we, re we live by the energy of words released here. Learn to release words. I say of myself, it doesn't matter what becomes of Nigeria. I will be safe. I will thrive. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will triumph. Don't ever find yourself saying, oh, oh, I don't know. No, I know. You know, I told you I'm in the no group. I know. Hallelujah. I know that my future is bright. I know. You know what I told some of our leaders years ago? I said to them, watch out. It will be very consistent with me. That if I ever enter into any trouble, watch out. Huh? I will come. I said to them, God, I used the, this term. I said, God will come for me. I said, I can it can never get worse with me. No, it can never get worse. can never get worse. Nothing can happen to me. And all of a sudden you start expecting it to get worse. It can never get worse. Say with me, it can never get worse with me. You begin to think that way. 
He said, not me. How can someone say, you, will get, no, it will not get worse with me. You will use the word of God and kill the life of that disease. You use the word of God and kill that sin. You say it, you say, see, let me tell you, all my prayers is not talking to God. There are times I talk to me. I say, I am a believer of God's word. I believe what God says in his word. God is to me what he says he is. He is my deliverer. He's my provider. He's, the, he's my shepherd. And he is the good shepherd. Are you getting what I'm saying? They have I walked the lanes and the breadth of this life. Fearing no evil. You said that to yourself. You said to yourself, it doesn't matter what will be said tomorrow. The word of God will triumph on my lips. The word of God will triumph on my lips. Will be found the word of God. Praise God. Even if your hands start, if you have, even if your hands start growing like this, huh? turn it with your mouth. He said, he said, this hand you will turn. And every day you look at it, he said, I said you will turn. And in the name of Jesus, I refuse to recognize that you are this way. That's faith. Faith. Amen. Be violent. Don't let nobody, your family, tell you you are finished. They call and say you have been finished. How can we be finished? Huh? Now, how can we be finished? And then they say, remember, you came from a humble family. Thank you. I'm a child of the king. This is a reality to me. Let me tell you. Some persons had told me for this. You know what one of my cousins says? You know what they say? You are acting as if you are not from this family. I say, you don't understand. I say, you don't understand. <laughs> I am, I have been identified with the man from heaven. Are you getting what I'm saying? The man from heaven. I say, you don't understand. I say, it doesn't matter what you do. Eh? We know our people. I say, you don't know our people. No, you don't know our people. <laughs> the Bible says, but you have come to Manzion. The city of the living God. The living God. Hallelujah. I said, whatever I told you, listen, our people, they don't get to this level. They say, you don't know. You don't know where I'm from. You don't know where I'm from. You don't, you don't understand. <laughs> when, they, when they call for meetings, and they say, we need to bring somebody to pray for our family. Eh? Family liberation. Let our family be good. I have never been a part of that rubbish. Who is not going well? Who is not doing well? Me? If you are not doing well, you can't look for solution. Can't look. Imagine somebody saw me in a family. And you are calling for somebody to pray for your family to be going well. Am I not an example of what will become if you ever go well? Think about it. See, after if that prayer ever worked. You start following me. You didn't get what I said. I found the light. I'm in a path of consistent victory. Speak in other tongues. It doesn't matter what happens. Parabaka shatia. Radia ski kofana. Rena kankuza kanji lakrazi skovrit. Ripa sisko fele mangadeliat. Oh, sakataka. Reba bariane fiesu genaski. Jeneaski is kuja bali viden tongra ne so zizi fire fai kan tu mengra di eskush in the name of Jesus I told you Jesus' is life on the earth has defined the possibilities of man to us and we can never be anything less than he was we can look at him and see what man could do are you getting what I'm saying that's why he's called the son of man amen okay so the supernatural Huh? Whatever Jesus commanded, we can command. Whatever he commanded, we can command. There is no limitation for us. Praise God. Praise God. Say this with me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. There is nothing mere mortals can do to me. <laughs> I, uh, did you get this? Did you get this? Yeah. When you look at your clothes, you look at your phone, Look at your car, whatever. Huh? Don't derive value from them. They are valuable because of you. Are you getting what I'm saying? They are what? They are valuable because of you. You are more valuable than them. 
you are more valuable than your business you are more valuable than your work it doesn't matter where they kept you you are more valuable praise God yeah Say, uh, 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 you are surviving by this business you are not surviving by any business are you getting what I'm saying you are not brethren I said you are not if anybody says, why are we, we, you are not <laughs> you are not we have Jehovah the provider hallelujah and the brethren he provides and not only that he provides he loves to provide he wants to provide it is what he wants to do are you getting what I'm saying let me tell you God wants us to enjoy him I'm telling you the Bible says he created all things for us he richly gave us all things richly to enjoy yeah God wants us to enjoy him and we will enjoy God praise God praise God and lastly for the sake of those who didn't hear I said there is nothing that will happen on the outside and it will be that I am finished you are not finished did you get what I said you are not finished learn to have talking section even get the bread get brethren people that you talk the word with right you talk the word you talk the word you speak forth those things you are speaking forth you are going to de- you are releasing energy energies of God's spirit praise God and I could tell you that some of the things that are happening in my life today they were things I, I was saying years ago I was saying I am casting out devils from people's bodies I was saying, you know, that I'm going to have people who are lame, crippled, walk, stand up and walk. And they are the things I'm doing now. I was saying I would, I would speak to blind eyes and they will open. I will speak to deaf ears and they will be unstopped. Those were the words I was speaking years ago. And they're like, it's like I've been programmed in the spirit. I'm now working in the energy of the words that I spoke in the past. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you now learn to speak learn to speak he said there is no confusion in my future because by default there would be but you are using your word to handle them ahead of time are you getting what I'm saying he said I'm not going to make mistakes in my future the wisdom of the spirit is at work in me and when the devil or whatever would want me to not make mistakes he said I am surrounded by supernatural relationships that will guide me that will instruct me you know I said that to myself I said I said to myself, and in the name of Jesus, when it will look as if I'm about to make terrible mistakes, phone calls will come, text messages will come, chats will come, and those will be the leading of God's spirit out of that trouble. So you get what I'm saying? You can even see, you can even prophesy the leading of God's spirit in your future. He said, in the future, I am led out of troubles. Are you getting what I'm saying? In the future, I am led out of terrible mistakes. Praise God. We'll give you all the praise. We'll give you all the honor. Blessings and the glory to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Wow! Blessed! This message was brought to you by the Lord's Brethren Church International Media Department. Subscribe to this channel for many more amazing life-changing messages that will be coming your way. God has blessed you.